Earth's brothers are Mars, Venus, and Mercury, and their history informs our understanding of our own planet and its history and its future. And so we go to Mercury, which is the smallest planet, the planet closest to the sun, the planet made out of the densest materials, the planet subjected to the most extreme radiation and energetic particles from the sun because the processes that built Mercury, the processes that have governed how Mercury evolves are the same processes that operate on Earth. It's the distance from the planet that's the most critical. And we've been watching that distance get smaller and smaller in our uh, trajectory projections uh, as a result of all the maneuvers that have gone on before, all of the solar sailing that we've accomplished so far. So we are on target, uh, and we're now awaiting uh, the propulsive event that will put us into orbit around Mercury and, and make MESSENGER the first spacecraft uh, to orbit the innermost planet. MESSENGER has been traveling to this point for more than six and a half years. We have flown by Mercury three times, and we're now approaching the point, uh, the most critical point in the mission, when we fire our propulsion system to go into orbit around Mercury. We have been honing the trajectory as we've been flying, uh, just as we did for each of the Mercury flybys. The guidance and control and navigation teams have been using a process known as solar sailing, where they can change the orientation of the spacecraft a small amount. They can tilt the solar arrays relative to one another by a small amount and use sunlight, the radiation pressure from the sun, like the wind on the sails of a sailboat to make fine changes in the trajectory of our spacecraft. After we achieve orbit around Mercury, there'll be a commissioning phase. There'll be a period, uh, almost three weeks long, where we carefully check out every subsystem on the spacecraft. We carefully check out every instrument on the spacecraft to make sure that they're functioning, to make sure that in the thermal environment of Mercury orbit that everything's behaving as expected, according to design. One of the mysteries, now a 20-year-old mystery, that we hope to solve uh, with MESSENGER is, is there ice on Mercury, the planet closest to the sun, the planet with one of the, the hottest surface temperatures and, and the most extreme variation in temperature between day and night? Could ice be permanently deposited in cold storage at the North and South Pole? Stay tuned.